Hello, fellow hunters, and welcome back to A Call of the Wild. We are continuing our adventures in Te Awaroa, working to unlock the entire map of all of its points of interest, as well as grabbing the as many of the gold trophy animals as we can. As I've said in previous episodes, we came into this with pretty much every animal uh, having a gold trophy, except for the Kamoi and Sika deer. So we're still working. I have yet to see either of those species as of yet, but hopefully as we work our way towards the west in that direction, we'll be able to find some of those and grab the two animals that we need from this reserve. Either way, our plan for today is to run over to grab this one point of interest that we missed, and then we will probably fast travel back over here to this outpost so that we can run through this path over here and grab this uh, lookout point. So that's what we're going to be doing. Our loadout for today is the Mommer 7mm Magnum for the class 4 to 9 animals on our way. We have the uh, 243 Cuomo Competitor Pistol for our class 2 and 3 animals, which will be the uh, Kamoyan Feral Goat on this map. And then we also have the from the new high caliber weapon pack that just released, the Strandberg 12, uh, 10 gauge semi automatic shotgun. Uh, which is going to be for our small game, you know, when they're moving and, you know, kind of going fast, we need to be able to have a little spread to help us get those guys. We also have the Anderson 22 Defender you know Pistol uh, for longer range shots now. if we happen to catch them out in the oh, open yeah. and they're just kind of sitting there waiting for us to shoot at them. And then lastly, for our defense against the dark arts, we have the Sunberg 454 handgun, my favorite pistol. <laughs> uh, we have that generally for self-defense against any animals uh, that might become aggressive and try to get us. Let's see, we got red deer over here. We shot so many red deer in the last few episodes. I don't really have any desire to hunt them anymore. So uh, if you want to see that, the last episode we shot like 10 or 15 red deer or something like that. They were just, they were just, they were all out by the river. They were all out by the river up in this area, and we were just, they were they were not being very uh, wise with their decisions. So, yeah. What's this guy? Just trying to see what he is. 266. I mean, he technically could be, if we could get a decent shot at him. He went down for a second. Probably just a gold. Well, that's fine. I, like I said, I'm, I have we have two diamond red deers already. I'm not really red deer. Two diamond red deer already. I'm not overly concerned about grabbing another one. I just figured I'd try to take the shot since he was right there. It's just a bush right there. All right, so anyways, like I said, our plan is to come over here, grab this, then we'll fast travel up here and go to the lookout point over here and see what's around in this area. So I'll see you when something interesting is about to happen. Got ourselves a red deer right here. We may be able to get him before he runs away. I'm a big fan of just taking them down quickly, so if I can get a second shot in as quickly as possible before they start running, then I don't have to track them down. So I'm a big fan of when we can... I, I, I always try to get a second shot in them, even if I'm relatively sure that the first one uh, was a nice, good, vital organ hit, because if you can hit them again, especially if you can hit them again in a vital area, it makes it much quicker for them to go down and you don't have to chase them. And, you know, it's more ethical from a roleplay perspective to kill them as quickly as possible anyways. So, as I expected, he turned out to just be a silver. That first shot was a nice double lung shot, but the second shot only hit him in the flesh. So, I'm not sure why that second shot brought him down so quickly. Usually, when you hit him like that, they're going to run for a little bit before they go down, but that time they didn't. But anyways, our next waypoint is going to be this guy over here. So we are going to fast travel to this uh, outpost there and then run off in that direction and see what kind of trouble we can get in. So we have some feral goat like right here in front of us, but unfortunately, oh. I have no idea where I hit that. Uh, I had to hurry up and quickly take a shot. Yeah, we just we got unlucky with the terrain here. Uh, did we get a kill? Doesn't look like it. That's okay. Uh, as, just like the red deer, I already have a diamond feral goat, so I'm not overly concerned about grabbing those. I want to try to shoot things when possible, because you guys came here to see some hunting. And if I just bypass animals because I don't need them, that's going to be boring for you. So even though I'm not overly concerned about it, I still try to go after these things, just so, you know, you guys get to see some shots. 
because uh, that's what you came here for. <laughs> so we'll wait for our call to action to go away and do a cut to the next area. Pairs with top sensors, and you better believe that once they spot you, they'll be out of there over tricky terrain before you can say, Go to Antelope. Not sure how. F I don't know if we got a vital hit on that or not, but that's our first chamoy. Or chamoy. She said chamois, so I'm guessing chamoy. <laughs> okay. So that one definitely went down. But I'm not sure if we got a good hit on it. So I'd like to try to go after another one if we can. But unfortunately, the foliage here is just so thick. So I'm not confident that I'm going to be able to get a shot before they run away. And we kind of need to find the tracks for this other one that we shot. But we'll take that. We'll take care of that in a minute. Oops, I didn't mean to hit the brush there. Kind of hoping that by walking, I'll be able to get just close enough to spot them before it runs. Oh, our guy ran up here, it looks like. So maybe we'll get lucky and see a body laying over here. Oh, is that going that way? Yeah. So I kind of want to just get up to the top of this hill here and see if maybe we can get lucky and find another one. Uh, Shamoy has a gold rating of, or a gold trophy rating of 46.36. So at least assuming my chart is correct. It's certainly possible. It would be nice if I could have gotten an audio indicator or a visual indicator of the audio there because I kind of got screwed with that. I think it's over here somewhere. But I'm not sure. Okay. So it's just a female. I or no, it's a male, but it's not a. It doesn't have a. It doesn't have a gold potential there. All right, well, we'll grab this guy. We'll grab this here, and then we'll go see if we can find that other one that we shot. You can pause the video here if you'd like to read this. And uh, I'm going to head down here and see if we can find our uh, chamois that we shot. All right, this is the first one that we shot that was kind of on the move. Let's see how we did. I can't really... I don't know these well enough to know if those horns are good or not. Oh, look at that! Our first kill, our first Shamoy kill, and it's a gold. And we got really lucky and happened to catch it in the liver, which is the only reason why we ended up keeping that as a gold. But I'm certainly not going to complain that that worked out the way that it did. We have one of the two animals that we need to get done over here. So I believe this is a horned animal. That's going to be under the antelope category. We're going to put down 46.56 for that. That is our current best score for the chamoy, for the chamoy, sorry, chamoy. And uh, yeah, so now we'll collect our animal and head over and see if I can find the body for this guy. Or yeah, this guy. <laughs> All right, and he wasn't even very far down the road, so that's pretty good. Get our dog to stop tracking because he likes to howl and bark once he finds what he's looking for nice little silver got a de pretty decent lung shot in there not too bad for the angle that we would ended up taking the shot at but uh yeah it is what it is all right so we're gonna head over in this direction so we can grab this what is likely a hunting stand over here and then we'll grab our lookout and then we'll grab our lookout point over there uh, but first we're gonna see if we can spot this chamois that's over here because you never know if maybe we'll get lucky and happen to find a diamond as well. I'm going to slide over back over. To, oh, sorry, I'm really close to the microphone. I'm going to slide over to the road over here and see if maybe we can catch a glimpse of this guy before he runs away. Realistically, with the wind where it is, he's probably already gone, but uh, better to look just in case. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure though. I'm sure I'm pretty sure it fled because it smells us. And if I did, and if it didn't, then uh, it's behind foliage that I can't see it anyways, and it was never an option. Stop every couple of seconds to see if maybe we can catch it over here. Assuming it hasn't run away, I'm, sh I'm sure it's probably already run away by this point. Yeah, it just keeps getting it's 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 in the middle of a bunch of bushes and stuff, so I don't I don't see anything. It says it's over here somewhere, but I don't see it. All right, well, I'm not going to spend too much time trying to find this thing that's hidden in the bushes. Well, let's, we'll head off in this direction. Maybe we'll get lucky and happen to catch one out in the open. Oh, there's our hunting stand there. So now we're going to head over to our lookout post over here and see if maybe we'll get lucky and happen to find an even better sh uh, chamois out in the open. Wouldn't it be cool if we got a, a, a gold as our first trophy and then very shortly after that happened to cross a diamond? Yeah, that guy's fleeing now. We were never going to get him because he was stuck in some bushes and there was no way to spot him through all of that. So I'm just going to run over to the outpost over here. I'll see you guys at the top or the lookout point and I'll see you guys at the top. Yeah, I made it to the top of the tower here. And as you can see, we have several several options as far as some uh, chamois over here to get. We got a 4047, but this one's a 46 to 53, which is basically a guaranteed gold. So I think we may, it's within range of our 200 meter shot here. So it's currently 170 to 190, which means it's right around 180. If I zero for 200, I need to aim slightly low. And ideally that got him. Is it dead? May not have got a good shot then. It's kind of hard to hit them when they're low like that. That's our guy. So 146 to... Hmm. I'm trying to aim a little... I think I'm aiming... I think I'm overcompensating. Because I thought I had it, but... Forty-five to fifty-two. All right, we'll try one more time. Well, maybe not. All right, that's fine. We're up here. We're gonna get our lookout point here. I don't know. I, I know I need to aim slightly low because the zero is gonna put it. If it's closer to me, I need to aim slightly lower. But I think I'm overcompensating. I think at that distance, the the amount I need to adjust is much smaller than I think it is. All right. Oh. No, these are the two we killed up here. Okay. So let's head over to this uh, outpost over there. And then I think we may go ahead and try to accomplish whatever mission is over off in that direction because we're getting kind of close to it. All right. Well, we got a bunch of goats that were uh, over here drinking. Oh. Uh. One eighty three for a feral goat. He could reasonably be a Oh, here we go. Oh, he turned and I wasn't expecting it. Oh well. I don't think either of those are as good as this guy is. I think I hit him too far back. Yeah, I hit him too far back. That's all right, though. This guy turned out to be a gold. I think we'll go ahead and ha and uh, tax him because we need some more of those in the trophy lodge, I think. But we got a really good shot on him. And he has some nice big horns, too. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I'm not even really sure what I'm... Like, I, I should probably start learning how to use this true score thing because uh, it'll help us figure out, you know, what to be looking for when we're actually looking at these guys. But I don't really know what too much of this means. So for these guys, we want a, a nice big 
tip to spread. What is that? The measured tips between the main beams. So this, I guess, how far apart they're spread. And then obviously horn length makes a difference. I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you guys can start teaching me uh, what I need to be looking for as far as these scores, maybe it'll help me when I'm actually spotting these guys later on. Because like I said, we're mostly concerned right now with just exploring and seeing what we can, you know, and... Uh, unlocking everything on all the different maps but eventually we're going to come back here we're going to be really trying to be picky about what animals we go after so you know you guys could help me out by uh teaching me what i need to know as far as what to look for in these animals uh and you know it helps with channel engagement when you guys leave comments so please feel free to do please feel free to leave advice i am very much appreciative of that so let's go ahead and grab this outpost here then we'll go down and do whatever uh, story mission that she has for us over here All right, so let's get rid of our waypoint there, and we're gonna head down the hill to this over here and grab this outpost or this lookout point um, along the river there. Seems like a good way to go. All right, well, this feral goat isn't exactly, you know, something that we're super looking for, but it's right there, and we'll take a shot at it because why not? money in the bank and you know if it's broadside like that and they're making it super easy there's no reason not to take it and replacing a low hopefully we'll be replacing a low level animal with something a little bit higher oh i got another red we got a red deer over here again i'm not overly concerned with red deer oh okay but if they're just going to stand there like oh he turned I'm gonna take a second and see if maybe he turns back to the left a little bit. Yeah, we can take that shot right there and see if maybe that penetrates a lung. Hmm, I felt like that was pretty decent. And the, the seven millimeter really should have been able to penetrate that, but I don't know. Sometimes these things don't do exactly what I think they're going to do. It also doesn't help that the, the physics of the bullets and stuff like that aren't exactly the most realistic thing in the world. Dang, we got a really good shot there. <laughs> right through the lungs and the liver. Okay. I knew it was going to be just a, a little bronze like that, but, uh, you know, it was a nice easy shot, and I didn't see any reason not to take it. So there we go. All right, I kind of took just like a random shot at one of these females that was just kind of trotting away from me, and I took it with the uh, 454 pistol with no scope and happened to get, uh, I guess, a lucky shot or something. So the first shot, as you can see, was from 64 meters. I did it with the iron sight. And the penetration is just so insane on this weapon. Uh, that last one hit, him in the, hit her in the skull, but that's all right. She wasn't really a scoring animal anyways. Let's head over here to the cave that she wants us to go into. Not sure exactly what we're gonna be doing down here, but uh, we'll get it done and then move on to the lookout point over there. And then hopefully there'll be an outpost nearby that we can end the episode on. That would be pretty sweet. So they want us to go down into a cave over here. I'm not really sure. Hmm. Okay. Um, I think we're going to have to drop down off the edge of a thing here. Ooh. Okay. Uh, can I drop in the water? Probably not going to work out. Uh, oh, I had a feeling that was going to be like that. <laughs> oh, man. And we're going to go all the way back over here. Oh, my God. How far is it making me go back? Uh, yep, we're all the way back over here. Um. Okay. Well, you know, I think I'm going to go ahead and call that an episode. I don't feel like walking way back over there hopefully you guys had lots of fun be sure to click that like button if you did so that the youtube algorithm will know and send the video out to as many people as possible if you're not if you're not subscribed please consider doing so now so that when the next video comes out it will show up in your video feed and you'll be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available channel members do get early access to all of my content so be sure to click that join button Jeez, I'm getting super lucky here at the end. <laughs> Be sure to click that join button, check out the list of options that are available there, and decide if any of those are right for you. If you're not interested in a continuing commitment, you can leave YouTube's form of a tip in the form uh, with that thanks button. 
uh, direct contributions are greatly appreciated and a, con a uh, critical component to helping to turn this into a full-time gig, which is the dream. So again, thank you very much for your time. I hope you guys have been enjoying these hunts. Be sure to come back for the next one, and I'll see you then.